Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're taste testing the new Nespresso Ristretto Intenso. But before we get into the video guys, don't forget if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do so by clicking the button down below. You guys can also find me over on Instagram where I make daily coffee recipe videos. If that's something you're interested in, you can find me right here. Let's taste test. Alrighty guys, so I am back with another Nespresso taste test. We haven't done one of these in quite some time. A lot has been happening in the world of Nespresso this past week. They actually re-released the Pierre Hermé holiday pods. Um, probably everyone's favorite holiday pods of all time, so we're really excited about that. But with that release also came the new Ristretto Intenso. <laughs> so this pod launched on the same day as um, the relaunch of the holiday pods, but kind of got overshadowed because everyone was super excited about that. So I did go in to pick this up so that I could try it out for you guys and see what we think. Um, full disclosure, I'm a little under the weather. Not a lot, just a little. My family, my husband and my son both have the flu. They're getting over it. But now I'm starting to feel a little itchy and very sneezy right here. So going to get through this as quickly as I can. And then I'll actually be excited to just use um, the pods from this because it's about five and I haven't had coffee all day. I've just kind of been resting. Um, now, if you guys know anything about... Um, Ristretto, it is the younger brother or sister to the espresso shot. Let's hear what Nespresso has to say about this pod and let me show you guys what it looks like. So I've already popped one out of the box. This is what the new Ristretto Intenso is looking like. I'll come in and give you guys a close-up view. So this is the Ristretto Intenso, right? Beautiful thing as per usual. Now, let's see what Nespresso has to say about it. Um, da, da, da. So this pod is actually noted as an intensity of 12. So I love that. Um, I used to love Diavoluto because it was an intensity of 11. This is probably going to be one of the stronger of the pods because, again, it is a ristretto, shorter version of espresso, which means it's a lot more, um, there's less water running through it, so you get more of an intense blend. Um, other things that Nespresso has to say about it, it's a spicy, woody, and earthy pod. Usually I'm not really into spicy, woody flavors, but they do make really good if you want to use uh, really rich syrups and sauces. Uh, this one has a heavy bitterness, um, lower acidity, uh, heavy roasted, and has a lot of body. Now, just to talk a little bit about what a ristretto is compared to an espresso, it says a ristretto is a not Italian coffee tradition, meaning restricted. In Italian, a ristretto refers to an espresso pour, which is markedly intense due to a reduced amount of water passing through the finely ground coffee. The resulting beverage has a concentrated flavor and rich aroma. And then they say our Ristretto Intenso captures the essence of this Italian tradition. Packed with the same amount of coffee as an espresso capsule, but brewing at 0.85, whereas an espresso capsule usually brews at about 1.35. Uh, this dark roasted blend delivers an intense and flavorful experience. Also, from my um, research, I hear that Intensos, Ristretto's, see, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> okay. Um, Ristretto's are a little bit sweeter in flavor as well. So, kind of excited to be trying this one out. We're just gonna go ahead and brew it on up. I'm going to brew this, then I'm going to taste it. We're going to try it with milk. And in the end, I'm probably going to make a nice coffee because, again, I haven't had coffee all day. Let's do it.
so I'm back. I have my double shot of Ristretto Brewed. You can tell that it's very short because if I can zoom into the camera, there isn't really much espresso or ristretto in here. But again, we're supposed to be getting um, woody, spicy, what else does it say? Yeah, woody, spicy, very intense. So let's give it a taste, see what we think. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's giving what it said it would give. Definitely really intense um, kick when you first try it. Woody, very deep, very dark, very bold. Um, so yeah, it, it, it tastes like what it says. I'm interested to see though how this will carry over with milk. So let's add some milk to it. I'm probably going to have this ice later anyway, but let's just go ahead and pour just a little bit of the ristretto out. Ooh, don't want to spill on my nice white carpet. And I'm going to add a little bit of milk to that. Okay. wanted to make sure I didn't have any spills on my carpet, um, but let's taste this. It's still very, very bold. And I felt as though I added more milk than ristretto. This is nice. This makes me happy because the coffee doesn't get watered down with milk added to it. So again, this um, ristretto is going to be really nice if we are making um, lattes and caramel macchiatos all of those things it's gonna hold up really well to syrups and sauces i actually already have a syrup in mind for this a sauce let me show you guys so the brand um kaya they sent me over some of their sauces this one is a limited edition brown sugar cinnamon swirl and it is divine as someone who doesn't typically like cinnamon cinnamon i'm quite shocked at how much i love this in fact all of their sauces are really really good so i can see this sauce because it's so thick and creamy and a rich flavor going really really well with this ristretto in fact i think that's what i'm gonna have now so overall would i suggest purchasing this ristretto i absolutely would i love how bold it is that's like the best part um, I like that strong, smooth flavor of espresso ristretto that it gives. And so I know sometimes it can be annoying purchasing pots like these because, um, you know, you don't get as much as you do with a double espresso. That's why people don't even like to purchase the single espresso shots. But guys, this one is giving what it's supposed to. It's really bold. It has a kick to it. And so I don't think it's a lot stronger than some of the double espressos that I've tried. Like if I add um, milk into um, Dolce, right? Is it Dolce? Yeah, if I add milk into Dolce or if I add milk into Doppio, you taste mostly the milk. You don't taste a strong espresso um, taste, but with this, you're not going to have that problem. So I think if you use two of these, you're going to have a really nice, bold um, latte or, cappucci or cappuccino or however it is you like to have your coffee. Guys, drop it in the comments down below. Let me know, have you tried this new Nespresso Ristretto yet? If not, are you going to buy it? Again, don't forget you can always find me over on Instagram if you want to see me actually make some recipes with this new ristretto. I'm going to post something over there this week. Guys, as always, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I'll see you guys next time.